<laughs> All right. Okay. The blood vessels to the heart itself are really, really important. So when oxygenated blood comes out of the heart, it goes up through the aorta, and the very first two vessels off of it are the right and left coronary arteries. Now they're going to branch off and go to different parts of the heart and actually feed oxygen and nutrients to the heart itself. So the right coronary artery branches around the top and goes down the back of the heart. And this glob of fat that goes straight up and down, that is the inter, posterior, sorry, interventricular artery. That's the branch. That's what it's called. Because it's going right between the two ventricles and it's on the back side of the heart. The other thing that this branch is into is a little branch that comes right off of the right side of the heart and that's called the marginal. So R, P, M is how I always remember it. Okay, and there's obviously a lot of other ones that come off, but those are the two that you really need to know. The left cor uh, coronary artery is gonna, you can't really see it from here because it's underneath the pulmonary trunk, but it comes down. So if, if we point to this right here and say, what is that? Just that little section and above, that's actually the left coronary artery. And then it branches immediately and goes down the front of the heart in this clump of fat that goes straight up and down. And this is the anterior interventricular artery. And then part of it continues to circle. And so this part up here is called the circumflex artery. So those are the main arteries that feed the heart itself. If any of those get clogged, it's a really bad day. That often causes a, a heart attack. Okay, the veins are very, very different. There are major veins, and I don't really care that much about which one goes with which, but you should probably look this up. I think the great um, cardiac vein goes down with the, check it your notes. I think it goes down with the anterior interventricular artery. I took a picture of the one that was in the slides. And which one are you asking about the left or right? No, the anterior, this one. Let's, yep, the great cardiac is going with the anterior interventricular, right in this clump of fat straight up and down. The middle cardiac vein is going with the posterior interventricular artery, and the small cardiac vein goes with the marginal artery. Now, the really important thing, you, get, you need to know those three for the models, for the lab, but the important, mo more important thing is that they all come together and form this really huge vein right before it gets into the right atrium. This is the coronary sinus. And it sits in a groove right between the atria and the ventricles, and that groove is called the coronary sulcus. Yeah? And then this empties into the right atria right there. So superior vena cava, the inferior vena cava, the coronary sinus. Okay. All right. Does that do it? All right. It's a wrap. <laughs>